Hello, peoples. This is the first time I'm recording in about three weeks. So, we have the umbrella now. Um, that means we beat the third boss of the game. It also means we're past what I like to call the uh, good part of the game. This next area, uh, it's actually only seven rooms for them to get to the next boss. But, oh, uh, these are like the worst seven rooms in the game. They're awful. I really don't want to go through them. They're all horrible. And the next boss is actually incredibly close to the previous one. Uh, as I said, only seven rooms. And it's also the hardest boss in the game. I hate it. Now, if you come over here... Well, you kill... Actually, I'm kind of curious to know if I can get up here now by bouncing off the tar monster. That would create a huge shortcut. Because that door there brings you to here. And then that brings you pretty much to the boss then. I'm gonna try that. Anyway, you go over here and you can't go anywhere further. You actually have to go over here. Although, if you excuse me a moment, I'm gonna die to see if I can get up there early. Okay, sorry for wasting your time. There's no way to get up there early. There's an invisible barrier that blocks the way. So it seems to be very common in this game. But anyway, so you're supposed to- I'll get those scooby signs later. You're supposed to come over here to push this button. Which lowers those, because there's a random button on the rock that lowers shipwrecks now. That makes perfect sense. And the very treasure is just food. Don't get it unless you feel like dying. Like I do! <laughs> Shortcut! I'm making this way harder myself than this needs to be, I, re I realize. But, uh, anyway. Oh, God. Spent six minutes almost on one room. Uh... You're supposed to then go through here, as should be expected, because by this point in the game, you should really figure it should be pretty easy for you to figure out what you need to do. Rick on the deck part two, and this is the hardest room in the game. I hate it. You gotta push these buttons to move the mass around, and if you saw my speed run, you know I hate this area, and I just screwed up like I die. Whenever you hit the button, the rain stops for some reason. I never understood that. Ah. But you know, since I'm going here for all the Scoopy Snacks in the game, and I just screwed up, I'm gonna die. Just gotta re-push this button again, start all over again, because this area is awful. Oh, uh -huh. mm. So you're supposed to actually go up here, so you can get these. That's if you're going for 100%. And you could probably take a shortcut down there. I'm... You could probably make this if you... No, you can't, because there's an invisible barrier in the way. <sighs> Push the button, Scooby. And <sighs> hey, you know what? I want you guys to share my misery. I'm not cutting any of this out. You guys have to watch me bounce endlessly, endlessly, endlessly. Because I'm just that kind of sick, cruel guy. And I missed. <sighs> like, th there's nothing good about this area. It's ridiculously hard. We're just over what's supposed to be the halfway point in the game. And they're throwing stuff like this at us. There's four bosses, and we just beat the second one. Literally, just beat it. And you're forcing us to go through something as ridiculous as this. I, I can't believe it. This is terrible. This is a decent game otherwise. It's just... This whole area in between the green ghost and the third boss is impossible. All the air... It's... Why did I hit that button? It's even harder than the final area of the game. Like, the final area is not a... Or it's fine, like, final two areas, I guess. There's the basement and then the uh, secret lab that was mentioned in that one cutscene in the last episode before this. Uh, they're kind of the same area. The, the lab's under the mansion. Spoiler warning. But they're, they're different enough. They got different enemy variety and stuff, so... Uh, actually, I think I've actually... Uh, mentioned the lab already in the uh, the bio for the space coop. I'm pretty sure I did then, yeah. 
Okay, and now you're here. Finally, you push that button. And if you feel like being a daredevil, you can. I'm pretty sure you can glitch up there. I remember something Space Cat posted being vaguely like that. Oh, I missed a Scooby Snack. There we go. Now I gotta go all the way back. All the way back. Huh. I remember this area in particular ruining this game for me as a kid. Like, after this, I wasn't playing the game for fun anymore. I was playing it because I wanted to beat it. Because I wanted to show this game who's boss. And I really just didn't care anymore. It wasn't fun after this, as I recall. You can get up here, and... There's some kind of shortcut you can take getting up here. Yeah, yeah. If you really want to get... Oh, this is probably how you glitch out of the area, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, sh I'm gonna get myself killed. No, no, that was nothing. That was nothing. I'm crazy. You know what? I'm sure you can exploit something with that. And is it possibly very possible? Good. Oh, now I gotta go back and I gotta do this jump again. Because now there's another Scooby Snack. And do you know how much better this would be if I didn't have this stupid mast flag thing in the way? I, I can't. I can't see the Scooby Snack. And now I'm dead. Ugh. I had a long day at school today, too. Why am I putting myself through this torture? Uh, uh. <sighs> if you enjoy watching this, you are sadistic and cruel and mean and a jerk. Ugh. But yeah, I, I'm not skipping, I'm not cutting out any of this room. You gotta watch it all. I'm not cutting out any bit. I'm not even gonna give you, like, in the description, the time which I'm done this room. You gotta figure it out for yourself. By watching it all. It's my revenge. My revenge. Huh. Again, with the random rain stoppage. Why, why does it do that? Ugh. I really could just take the easy way out now and just jump down to the exit of the level without getting the rest of the Scooby Snacks. But you know what? For your guys' entertainment, I'm getting them all. And also because I gotta have to get them one way or another because I'm a perfectionist who needs 100% in this game. And there's still this one. Oh, how did I miss that? Ugh. There we go, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm done, I'm done. Just double checking that I got them all. Yes, I got them all. And if I repeat what I did in my speedrun where I fall here and die, I'm going to drop an F bomb. I, I have no idea. And I. Yes, I made it. Done with that room. Never going back to it again. In the speed, or in this let's play, and hopefully never going back there again in my life, unless I decide to speed run this game again. Oh, but guess what? We went out of one hellhole. In Wait, never mind. This isn't the room I thought it was. This room is tolerable. Annoying, but tolerable. Um, so as you go through here, I think we're in a sideways boat. You notice. The exit... Oh, no, you don't, because the camera doesn't pan. The exit's over there, and has a warp gate. So, you gotta figure out a way to get there. It's kind of puzzly... Ow! Why? How am I supposed to dodge that? This kind of puzzly stuff is actually pretty good, if it only wasn't in such a horribly difficult area of the game. It would be pretty fun. Die, crab. And why would you put Scooby Snacks like that underneath the fans? Just so I can jump down here and go all the way back up. You know what? When I came here as a... I was in first grade by the time I made it to this area. Yeah, throughout my entire kindergarten year, I only got as far as the Black Knight. I did the rest of it throughout first grade and beat the game within a year. Like, before Christmas of first grade. And didn't actually 100% it until fourth grade was done, I think. Launcher token... 
Yeah, I don't think I actually 100%ed this game until I was in fourth grade, because after I beat it, I kind of stopped. I mean, I still played through it every once in a while. That button's important. Every once in a while, I'd play through this game again just for fun, like in between other games. But for the most part, I didn't actually feel like 100%ing this until one day I was really bored in fourth grade and decided to get all the Scooby Snacks I missed, which is apparently only like five of them in uh, an area of the game we haven't gone to yet. Push the button, and that boat falls down, giving us a way to get through there. Somehow the boat automatically starts, and yeah, just start driving the circles there, because boats do that on their own, right? Now here, I actually think it's a pretty clever puzzle. If you just try to jump without tilting these platforms first, you can't make it. You gotta tilt them, then run up them and jump. Now, of course, being a kindergartner, I thought, oh, that's actually pretty nice, because I didn't... It took me a little bit of thought to figure this out. I was in kindergarten, don't make fun of me. And that's it. Now we just go to the exit and watch me die on the way there. <laughs> no, I made it. Whoa, whoa, I almost died. Now you gotta wait for the boat then to roll back into place, and you're good. Jump on and activate this warp gate. <laughs> it's a warp gate. And you know what? I'll see you guys next episode as I go through even more horrible areas that just aren't as horrible as the second air room from this. I zoned down in the middle of my sentence. Goodbye.